Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and are staying healthy and safe. So in today's video, um, I would like to go over some cruelty-free drugstore brands. So uh, I have a good mix of product types from makeup to skincare. Uh, I will leave timestamps in the description. So if you would like to skip to a specific category, then you can do that. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to start with skincare and then we will finish up on some makeup. So, I like to use an oil cleanser to uh, take off my makeup as a first step. I have said this previously, but I do not like using makeup removing wipes. I feel like they're not very effective at removing makeup and I haven't found any that I actually like. They have all just kind of irritated my skin. Um, I have pretty normal to dry skin, I would say. Um, right now I am going through some breakouts, so that's always fun. Anyway, I have two oil cleansers here from cruelty-free drugstore brands, obviously. The first one is the Earth Science ADE Creamy Fruit Oil Cleanser. And this is the Bliss Makeup Melt. I like both of these. I have to say I prefer the Bliss over the um, Earth Science. But these are both pretty effective oil cleansers that I feel break down the makeup and just get all of the grime off of my skin. Um, you can find these at Target. Okay, now let's talk about Yes2. Yes2 has several different products and they've got um, things such as cleansers and face scrubs and so this is Yes to Grapefruit, and this is Yes to Tomatoes. So Yes to Grapefruit is supposed to be brightening, and Yes to Tomatoes is supposed to be for uh, acne-prone skin. So I have their uh, Vitamin C Facial Scrub. Please, please do not exfoliate your skin every single day. Your skin is just not meant to be exfoliated every day. Uh, I've heard that you're only supposed to exfoliate about once to twice a week. So please make sure you are not over exfoliating your skin. Um, I have tried better facial scrubs. I mean, this is okay. I'm almost done with it. Uh, probably I'm not going to be repurchasing this. And this is their uh, acne spot treatment. It has 2% of salicylic acid, which is really good for, excuse me, um, acne prone skin and really drawing all of that bacteria and gunk to help clear up your breakouts. I will go in with this uh, when I feel a breakup coming on. I don't really know if it does anything, but it doesn't irritate my skin like some other acne treatments that I have used in the past do. So, yeah. It, another pretty good uh, skincare, body care brand is Elba Botanica. I have their Even and Bright Cleansing Gel here 
And I have to say, I really do enjoy this cleanser. It is a very nice cleanser. It it gets in there and does what a cleanser is supposed to do, which is to remove, um, you know, dirt and grime and whatever else on the skin. And uh, I don't like it when you use a cleanser and it feels like it's just sitting on your skin. You know what I mean? So that's why I really love this cleanser is because it doesn't do that and it does not irritate my skin. So yeah. Alba Botanica also makes one of my favorite uh, shaving creams. It's uh, their Very Emollient Cream Shave and I love that stuff. I've gone through multiple bottles of it. It's like a lotion so it's not going to foam up like a traditional uh, shave gel but it is really effective at preventing razor burn and giving a nice comfortable shave so I would really recommend that if you're looking for a good cruelty free vegan shaving cream so we're now moving in to some body care products and this is the brand Raw Sugar and I was so excited when they got Logical Harmony certified. They have like lotions and body washes and this is a uh, sugar scrub and they also have hand soap too so I was really just curious about the brand but I held off on purchasing from them until I was sure that they were cruelty free and they got Logical Harmony certified uh, which if you're not familiar that is one of the sources that I use to find out if a brand is cruelty free or not I'll also post a link to Logical Harmony in the description as well. But I have here their Avocado and Cactus Pear Moisturizing Moisture Loving Body Wash. And this right here is their Sugar Scrub. And it is Lemon Sugar. The body wash smells so good. It's, let me see if I can try to describe it for you guys. Um, I would say it just smells very clean and very fresh. So, uh, I really have been loving this lately. I feel like it is very moisturizing to my skin. And yeah, I've been really impressed with this. And I love citrus. So yeah, I, I, I love the way this smells. It smells so good. If you like lemon or just citrus in general, then you are going to love this. It might be a little wet, but oh, it smells so good. Oh. Uh, but yeah, I am pretty impressed with these two products. These are the only products that I have tried from this brand, and I would love to try some more from them. Next up for body care is Jason. Uh, Jason also has a wide variety of different products, from hair care to body care, um, they've got deodorants as well, lotions, I think, and then they have body wash, body washes, and this is in the apricot scent. It kind of smells like a fruity candy, kind of. Um... I like that 
their body washes and Elba, Elba Botanica does this too is they come in these big I think this is yeah this is 30 ounces or 887 milliliters so you do get quite a bit of product so I do like that you get a ton of product um, I'm usually not very picky about my body wash as long as it you know smells good I'm usually fine it's you know whatever I, I feel like this is a little drying for my skin I feel like it's not that incredibly moisturizing and I don't know if it, this is just isn't because it's a not moisturizing body wash or what but eh. I would only repurchase if I didn't have any other options but I would choose um, Shikai actually makes a really nice body wash I talked about that one before uh, the raw sugar one, that's really nice too. So I just, I, I think there are better options than this. Alright, um, along with body care, I am going to be including deodorants in this. Um, some common deodorant brands that at least I have seen in the drugstore is Tom's, Tom's of Maine. Uh, that This is a pretty common brand to find in drugstores. And I kind of noticed, kiss my face, they've got some deodorants at the drugstore as well. Um, I have just the regular Tom's Coconut Lavender deodorant. It smells just like coconut and lavender. It's a, it's a nice deodorant. It's, you know, deodorant. I, I, I don't really sweat all that much, uh, so I don't know how this would work for somebody who's uh, who's very sweaty, you know, if they just did like a super intense workout or something like that. Uh, and then this is the Kiss My Face Liquid Rock Deodorant. So this is what it looks like. And then the liquid kind of comes out at the top like that. This is uh, fragrance free. So if you don't like fragrance or are sensitive, are sensitive to fragrances, then this would be a good option for you. Uh, it does have that like nice, uh, fresh, clean scent to it, which... I like. Um, both of these are really nice. Uh, Tom's is owned by a company that is not cruelty free. Um, so you may want to go with Kiss My Face if you do not purchase from uh, cruelty free brands that are not cruelty free brands that are owned by non cruelty free companies. There we go. So, yeah, you may want to go with uh, Kiss My Face. Okay, now we are going to get into makeup. So, the first brand that I want to talk about is NYX. Um, I have their Hydra Touch Oil Primer here. And then I do have their... Whoops. Their Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Chocolate. Do a little swatch for you guys. Um, this is probably my Holy Grail Brow Pencil. I really like this. It's very easy to use. And I, I like that it comes with the spoolie, and I just, it's a very creamy, easy to work formula, and I really, really enjoy using this. I've heard that this is supposed to be a dupe for 
the Anastasia, uh, is it Brow Wiz? I think it's the Brow Wiz. Um, I've never used the Brow Wiz before, so I can't vouch for that. But, yeah, this is a really good uh, drugstore, cruelty-free, vegan uh, eyebrow pencil. Now, NYX is owned by a non-cruelty-free brand, so just please keep that in mind. I like this uh, oil primer. Uh, I use this and an e.l.f. primer, and they both work pretty good. They both work pretty good. Um, this just makes my skin look very plump and healthy, and yeah, this is my second uh, bottle of this. So yeah, I, I I would repurchase, and I would definitely repurchase the brow pencil. This stuff is amazing. Next up, we have Milani, and I have their Most Wanted Eyeshadow Palette in 140 Rosy Revenge. This is a really pretty palette. Um, I love creating a look with this palette. This is my first palette from Milani, and I have to say, I really like this. This is such a easy formula to work with. It blends out so beautifully and effortlessly, and the color payoff is amazing. Um, I love the mattes in here. So this shade, this shade, this shade, and then this shade on the end. These two shimmers right here, I find, are best applied with a finger. I have tried to use a brush, and I just don't get the intensity that I would want. So, uh, yeah, but I will definitely have to get my hands on some more of these Most Wanted palettes, because so far... I really, really enjoy it. Alright, then this next brand I am so, so excited about. I am so thrilled that they decided to go cruelty free. And they have a pretty good selection of vegan options as well. And it is a cover, cover girl. And I have currently their uh, clean, fresh powder. And, whoa, did not mean to do that. Uh, their Clean Fresh Powder in the shade 120 Fair. Should have moved those uh, liquid lipsticks out of the way first. Alright, so this is the shade, and it comes with one of those little uh, puff things for application. I have to say, I really do enjoy this powder. It's a really nice powder. I use this as a setting powder. I think this is more for, like, um, touch-ups or, like, a powder foundation. But I find that it works as a setting powder. So, yeah. Uh, this doesn't make me look cakey or, you know, have that, like, powdery look or anything like that. I've used this with I think all of my foundations and just the combination of the primer and this I think really makes the foundations work. So I really really enjoy this powder. And of course quick shout out to the Exhibitionist Mascara one of the best drugstore mascaras, and one of my holy grails. And then the liquid lipsticks that I 
managed to knock over are the Outlast Ultimate Liquid Lipsticks. I have two shades here. I have 105 Very Sincere and 115 Yay Rosé. So this is Yay Rosé. And this is very sincere. So those are the swatches. I absolutely love these. These are really nice. These are very comfortable. So if you have a problem with, you know, liquid lipsticks feeling dry or uh, they fade off or they're sticky, you don't get that issue with these. They feel so comfortable on the lips and they're not drying at all and they're so easy to apply and I, I love these. I'm really impressed with these. Um, I may pick up more shades, to be honest, because this is a really nice formula. Okay, so the next brand I'm going to talk about is Pacifica. And Pacifica has a wide variety of different products. They just released um, some new body washes. Um, obviously, I don't need any body wash right now, but... Uh, I'm tempted to try those out at some point, see how they are. They've also got, you know, hair care, makeup, skin care, um, just a little bit of everything, which is kind of nice. Um, but I have their A Light Clean Foundation, and I am in the shade... 39 CF Cool Fair. Um, do a little swatch. There's the shade. Um, I like this foundation. Um, I think it can be a little bit finicky. Um, I have to be careful with this because if I use too much product and then layer a powder over it, it can look pretty powdery and cakey. So a little bit of this foundation goes a very long way and just a little bit of powder on top to set everything in place. Other than that, I do like this foundation. So not a bad foundation. I really would recommend Pacifica as a brand. They've got some pretty awesome products. And... Another one of my favorite brands is e.l.f. I especially love their daily face cleanser. I have talked about this before on my channel. It's an amazing drugstore cruelty-free vegan cleanser. I love using this in the morning. It just refreshes my skin preps my skin for makeup in the day, and I just, I cannot say enough good things about this cleanser. It's an awesome cleanser. And then, e.l.f. makes so many great products. Um, I love e.l.f. E.l.f. and Pacifica probably would have to be my top favorite makeup brands. Um, 
I did pick up their bronzer palette. I'm not exactly sure what this is called, but uh, this is in the shade Warm. And those are what the shades look like. I would say that this has more of a satin sheen to it. So if you're not a fan of that, then you're probably not going to like this. But I I really enjoy this. Uh, I'm glad I picked it up. And yeah, it's a really nice bronzer. Okay, so now I want to talk about, excuse me, some makeup tools like brushes and uh, that kind of stuff. So I love these Eco Tools brushes. I have several in my collection. This is just a small handful. These are the softest brushes ever, and they don't get damaged when I wash them. They don't lose their shape or anything like that. I just, I love these brushes. These, they are such nice quality. Uh, I really enjoy these brushes. I would recommend uh, Eco Tools over Elf. Elf does make brushes, but I I have not had any luck. Um, the like the this part of the brush where the handle connects to the actual brush part, it keeps breaking. It keeps like coming loose, and that's happened to a lot of my Elf brushes. So I have just stopped purchasing them for that uh, reason and I just like to stick with my Eagle Tools brushes. Uh, e.l.f. also makes a eyelash curler that I'm currently using. It, it's an eyelash curler. It's nice. I don't know what else there is to say about it. <laughs> um, and then uh, Sona Kashik also makes uh, cruelty-free brushes as well. I I don't know if all of them are uh, synthetic or not, so I would just be sure to check to see if they are uh, synthetic or not. And then uh, Real Techniques also makes... Uh, Br brushes and sponges. I think we're all pretty familiar with this uh, Miracle Complexion sponge. This is a nice sponge. I do like it. Um, but to be honest, to be honest, I haven't found a sponge that I did not like. Sorry if you can hear laughter in the background. Um, but yeah, I just, I haven't found a sponge that I didn't like. I feel like they all kind of work the same, to be honest. So, yeah. And then, this is kind of a random product. I didn't really know how to categorize. The oh, excuse me, have the hiccups. <laughs> Um, as I was saying, I don't really know how to categorize this product, but this is Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. This is Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. I personally just use the uh, unscented version, but they come in different uh, scents. They've got tea tree, rose couple other scents. Um, now, if you're not familiar with Castile Soap, you can use it for kind of everything. If you wanted to, you could use it as a shampoo or body wash. I probably would not recommend it as a face wash, 
Uh, you can try that, but I don't know if that would turn out too well. Just because I don't think that this is specifically made for the face and it could p cause possible irritation. So just be careful. Uh, but you can use it for cleaning. I personally use this to clean my makeup brushes. And I get the big 32 ounce size because I find that it lasts a little bit longer. Um, but I really like this uh, to clean off my makeup brushes. And if you don't like uh, having this in a liquid form, then um, they have a bar form as well. So yeah. I almost forgot to talk about toothpaste, so I'm going to throw that in right now. Uh, Tom's makes uh, a toothpaste, because uh, my face does as well, but the one that I really like is the Hello brand. Um, uh, they are owned by a non-cruelty free brand. And I forgot to mention that CoverGirl is owned by a non cruelty free brand as well. Um, but this is their activated charcoal and hemp seed oil toothpaste. Um, I find that this works really well. This is one of my uh, favorite toothpaste. I just, I feel like it really gets in there and gets all of the gunk and the plaque out of my gums and out of my teeth. I have not had any issues with using this toothpaste and it having activated charcoal. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that this can be kind of messy. It tends to kind of get all over the place. So that is a downside. Um, but I'm over, I'm willing to overlook that because it is such an amazing product. Alright guys, I just wanted to, you know, make this a video to kind of show you that cruelty free is easy and it is accessible. As you can see, there are a ton of cruelty free brands that are available at the drugstore so you don't have to go to a special health food store or uh, anything like that you can go to target walmart sam's club um my and you can easily find these products all right that about wraps up this video I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, you can find me on Instagram at xgracefullyveganx and on veganamino at gracefullyvegan. Links are always in the description. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or video requests, you are always free to leave them down in the comments below. I hope you all have an amazing day. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.